what's up everybody, this is Angry Hippie Lady, and we are back for another episode of Talos Principle. And I am gonna look around a little bit to see what's going on up here, but I do not foresee myself staying around up here because I had just barely gotten going with down below, but maybe I need what's down below to complete what's up here. I have no idea. So that's why I wanted to kind of walk around and kind of get a feel for whatever's going on up here. Um, and I have no answers. It kind of looks like a newer age portal. Um, aperture science room. Um, yeah. Yeah, it really does. It's kind of creepy. And then it's got like some, some kind of saw music in the background. Great. Okay. Yeah, really nothing bad gonna happen. I like this window. These windows. All the windows. Okay, he said not. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Okay. Attention. Part 2 of the certification program has now been generated. Part 2 has been designed to test the consistency of some of your outlier responses in the previous round. You'll be presented with a series of statements. Please indicate your agreement uh, where appropriate. Begin. <sighs> yeah? Oh. Oh. Yeah. It does not like... I, I typed Y. <laughs> Since all human beings are persons and some human beings have psychological capacities similar to animals, some animals are therefore persons. I disagree. A person is under no authority other than that to which they consent. Yeah. The quality of life of persons ought to be maximized. Yeah. Value is discovered. Value is discovered. Yeah? I suppose so. <laughs> um, persons deserve the talents they were born into. I don't know. Do they deserve them? Sometimes no. Sometimes yes. The liberty of persons ought to be maximized. I guess. Value is created. Value can be created. I mean, you could take scrap and make it, you know, valuable. That's the whole recycle thing going on. So yeah. Thank you. Certification process is now complete. You will receive a notification when your user profile has been generated. Athena 12. 12, the Council of Zeus. The great bronze bulls pull the carriage forward. Mighty burst of steam uh, issuing, uh, ensuing from their nostrils. Finally, they came to the gates at the top of Mount Olympus, probably. Um, here assembled were all the many generations of gods and demigods and souls of mortals, steel and bronze and iron. It should be steel steel, bronze, and iron, unless they are all made of steel and bronze and iron. Anyway, the memory of flesh. The clouds parted far beneath, revealing the beautiful plains of that place? Mason? Uh, where great gleaming cities had once... I don't know. Professor Dr. Armin Hulock. Like, um, Doctor Who and Sherlock? No. Uh, the fall of the Roman Empire. The dialectal... Dialectal? Di dialect... Uh, yeah. Approach. Uh, I can't read that. 
have no idea what that could say. But interesting as such, perspectives of the decline and ultimate dissolution of the Roman Empire may be they ultimately put too much emphasis on individual catastrophic events. The real question that must be asked is why the Roman Empire, which had dealt with so many threats and ca uh, catastrophes over the years, oopsie, I hit something on my desk, um, was so incapable of responding to these later problems. We must investigate the division of wealth, the structure of government, the location of power in Roman society. Had the Republic survived or been restored, would Rome still have fallen? What was the role of debt and slavery in creating the conditions for what we now call the Dark Ages? Rome, the saying goes, was not built in a day. It didn't fall in a day either. To re register for the class, please email. Okay, apparently that was like a synopsis of a class. Should I look? I'm scared to go forward. Okay, yeah, so I am gonna need. Oh, no, 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 no. That tells me what pieces are there. Does that mean that there's even more pieces in each area? Or am I gonna need pieces to unlock these areas? Looks like I'm gonna need pieces to unlock. And there are pieces within. Oh my gosh. Okay, what can I... Access here. The great irony of... Oh my goodness. How am I supposed to be able to pronounce that? Oxy. I'm just gonna call him Oxy. Um is that such a vital source of information about the ancient world exists only because of a garbage dump. While the Library of Alexandria burned at the hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us uh, of unimaginable insights into history, philosophy, and art, the papers carelessly thrown away by the citizens of Oxy survive to the modern day. And though it is true that a great deal of what we know today is because of the conscious effort, efforts of individuals and organizations such as the spectacular tran translation and per preservation work done during the Islamic Golden Age, so much more is simply the result of the coincidence and luck. We've lost texts that the ancients considered to be absolutely essential while utterly trivial, even plagiarized work has survived unharmed. So if we want our descendants to remember more than glittering emo vampires and autotune teen pop stars, we have to invest in blah 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 blah. So glad, so glad that that was the part that got <laughs> corrupted. The Book of the Scribe of Osiris, sometimes also referred to as the Book of the Journey to Aru, is- I don't know this stuff, look. Um, is an ancient Egyptian text discovered in the excavation of Oxy. <laughs> it was caused- yeah, uh, it has caused a certain degree of controversy among Egyptologist, um, as some argue that it is a classic, pure, oh my gosh, literary text such as the Book of Coming Forth by Day, while others believe it is to be a poetic work not intended to be understood literally. The book tells the story of a dying man who asks the scribe about the afterlife. The scribe, a servant of Oris, describes how the man's ka, life force, will become separated from his ba, personality, and how he will have to reunite the two and become an ah, um, living intellect. 
passing a series of trials in the duat. Du duat? I don't know. Look, this is not English. Um, underworld, in order to reach the paradise of Aru. Unlike similar texts, the book of the scribe of Oris focuses less on giving advice. A recent study um, with Carnahan and Hassan Hassan suggests the text may have been intended as philosophical commentary on the world of the living through the allegory of the duat. It remains unclear whether this was the intent of the original pre-Alexandrian author or a result of the later translation into Greek. The earlier manuscript, which is considered to be more authentic, is too fragmentary to provide answers, though perhaps further excavation may. Okay. That's cool. So I have, I have these to open B. It said I'm not supposed to climb the tower, but I feel like I'm gonna climb the tower. <laughs> the god voice said not to climb the tower because that leads to death, and it seems that I am going to be climbing. Okay, so I can pick up more than um, one thing. Cool. Or more than two things, I mean. Um, yeah. The mind is its own place, and it in itself can make a heaven of hell. A hell of heaven. What matter, what matter where, if I be still the same, and what I should be, all but less than he whom thunder hath made greater. Here, at least, we shall be free. The Almighty hath not built here for his envy will not drive us hence. Here we may reign secure and in- this is so hard to read because it doesn't make any sense in my mind. And in my choice to reign in- reign is worth ambition, though in hell better in region- better to reign- oh my god- better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Look, in the comments. You let me know if that made any sense to you, because it seems so jumbled to me that I could not make any sense of it. Alright, this one's labeled hell. Alright. The ancient tradition that the world will be consumed in fire at the end of 6,000 years is true, as I have heard from hell. From the cherub with his flaming sword, is hereby commanded to leave his guard at Tree of Life, and when he does, the whole creation will be consumed and appear infinite and holy, whereas now it appears finite and corrupt. This will come to pass by improvement of sensual enjoyment, but first the notion that man has a body distinct from his soul is to be expunged. This I shall do by printing in the infernal method by corrosive Yeah, by corrosives which in hell are solutionary and melting apparent surfaces away and displaying the our infinite which was hid. Blake William Collection The Marriage of Heaven and Hell a document blah, 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 blah. I am so confused. Interesting. There's there's angels. I gotta know, can I just go? What if I just decide that I want to go walking to this mountain over here? Why is there a computer down here? 
Questioning Dell. Keynote. Oh my god, there's so much reading. Keynote speech by in. If I hadn't started reading all this, then I wouldn't have to read all this now. Questioning Dell. They say doubt everything, but I disagree. Doubt is useful in small amounts, but too much of it leads to apathy and confusion. No doubt. <laughs> no, don't doubt everything. Question everything. That's the real trick. Doubt is just a lack of certainty. If you doubt everything, you'll doubt evolution, science, faith, morality, even reality itself. You'll end up with nothing, because doubt doesn't give you anything back, but questions have answers. You see, if you question everything, you'll find that a lot you'll find that a lot of what we believe is untrue. But you might also discover that some things are true. You might discover what your own beliefs are, and then you'll question them again and again, eliminating flaws, discovering lies until you get as close to the truth as you can. Questioning is a lifelong process that's precisely what makes it so unlike doubt. Questioning engages with reality, interrogating all it sees. Questioning leads to a constant assault on the intellectual status quo, where doubt is far more likely to lead to reassign, to resign, sorry, resigned acceptance. After all, with the possibility of truth is after all when the possibility of truth is doubtful excuse upon uh, why not simply play along with the most convenient lie questioning is progress but doubt is stagnation Him? hey Alex I agree that we need something that will keep all the modules working together evaluate blah, a final test and I think I have the perfect solution. It's called the Holistic Integration Hanger. A fancy name for something a lot like a dungeon master in pen and paper RPGs. We created it to help run some MMOs back in the day. We needed something that would be able to unite procedurally generated and user submitted content into a coherent whole so the game wouldn't become too chaotic and inconsistent. It's a genuine AI, somewhat limited in its ability to grow, but capable of parsing the and understanding text fra phrasing, 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 no, not phrasing, phrasing, no. Um, why am I having issues with this word? Because it's so late and I'm tired. Um, and understanding text, images, audio, even video. It takes all the information it can find, interprets it, and then builds and maintains a world based on that. It's not perfect, but we don't have a lot of time, and it would be easy to adapt the code of our for our purposes. In fact, come to think of it, some of it is actually based on routines that you suggested that paper on. Hi folks, this is just to let you know that for reasons of convenience and security, we're partitioned EL into two separate systems. The Talos team will be working on ELO, um, while the Archive team will be working on EL1. You might also notice the EL2 partition. Don't worry about that, it's just the operating system doing its thing. Cheers, Rob. Hold up. I had to click O to come here. So the Talos team is actually this area. You know, one was where I started. And that was the archive team. EL2. Oh, is that gonna be the tower? I really do just kind of want to walk and see what it does. Let's go. 
Let's see what happens. The beginning were the words and the wood. Did not like that. Interesting. Let's see if I can get him to speak again. In the beginning were the words. In the beginning were the words, and the words made the world. I am the words. The words are everything. Where the words end, the world ends. You cannot go forward in an absence of space. Repeat. In the beginning were the words. Cool. Cool. All right. So the the invisible wall is marked by. A repeating thing. I don't. I don't even know what to call it. All right. Let's see if this is El two. This must be the tower we were warned about. Seems the upper levels are locked tight. Elohim is taking no chances that we stray from his path. She. Are returning from the tower, I feel a great tiredness and an enormous energy. What I now know disturbs me, but I hope that by living with this knowledge, I might provide a shoulder for you, the giants of tomorrow. The view from the top must be incredible. Yep, that's uh, that's that's my kind of person right there. <laughs> the person who's just like, yeah, that bit is cool up there. Before we go there, let's kind of look around a little bit. Okay, we already knew about that building back there, but still. Here's a thing. I wonder what that thing is gonna do. Alright, oop! Uh, I gotta re little turn around. I guess I could. Oh no, this is not what I wanted. Cannot detect location of primary subject. Query. Query. Off the radar. Query. Oh. I had not planned on doing this. Found a place for the red pieces. Oh, what's this? Is there anything that we associate more closely with intelligence than curiosity? Time capsule. Every intelligent species on Earth is attracted by the unknown. Our mythologies are full of riddles and mysteries and divine knowledge. Even the word apocalypse... Even the word apocalypse means revelation. It seems like our ancestors always imagined that even at the very end, we would... Solve one last mystery. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back down. And the reason why I wasn't uh, going back down while I was going, I was worried that the voice would start talking and it would um, end that and then I would never know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. We will explore this building back behind here. In the next one. So, thank you all for watching. I'm Angry Hippie Lady, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.